Welcome to a virtual tour of Van Hook Falls Trail, located within the 6,691 acres of the Cane Creek Wildlife Management Area, just outside London, Kentucky. To reach the trailhead, take I-75 to exit 38, Kentucky 192 West. Stay on 192 West for 14.2 miles until you reach the intersection of Kentucky 192 and Kentucky 1193. The small parking lot will be on the left of the Y formed by the divergence of the two roads across the street from the trailhead. It is marked with a sign that says, Sheltoe Trace Trail, Daniel Boone National Forest. In fact, Van Hook Falls Trail is really just a small section of the 333 mile long Sheltoe Trace Trail that stretches from the Burnt Mill Bridge Trailhead in Tennessee to Rowan County, Kentucky. The majority of the Sheltoe Trace is contained within Daniel Boone National Forest. It is actually named for Daniel Boone, who was called Sheltoe, meaning Big Turtle, when he was adopted as the son of the great warrior chief Blackfish of the Shawnee tribe. Here are some things to keep in mind when you're planning a trip to Van Hook Falls. From its starting point, Van Hook Falls Trail is a moderately difficult out and back hike approximately five miles round trip. The first portion of the trail takes you down into a gorge. This section is often muddy and has deep grooves created by rainwater. The day after a good rain is a great time to see the falls, but remember to wear boots and be careful in your initial descent. There aren't any restroom facilities at the trailhead or along the trail. You can bring your dog as long as it's on a leash. Cell phone reception is really poor to non-existent for most of the hike. The stream water is, of course, not safe to drink, no matter how clear it looks. Bring your own water. The Cane Creek Wildlife Area is managed by the U.S. Forest Service and the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife Resources for the purpose of maintaining sustainable populations of game and non-game wildlife species. This means hunting is allowed in specific areas at certain times of year. Trail users should take appropriate safety precautions during hunting season you'll probably want to plan at least three hours for your hike. The Van Hook Falls Trail takes you through beautiful hemlock forests alongside sandstone outcroppings, overhangs, and partial caves. You'll also encounter small water features and bright green mosses and ferns. Sadly, you might notice many fallen hemlock trees as well. Efforts are underway to control or eliminate a non-native insect pest called the hemlock woolly adelgid that kills hemlock trees if they're left untreated. The Cane Creek Wildlife Management Area has a growing population of wild turkeys and white-tailed deer. You might see woodpeckers, grouse, and quail too. Look out for warblers and other songbirds during the breeding season. Along the river you can spot wood duck, heron, and salamanders. And in springtime, the wildflowers are just too numerous to list. Take a guidebook and see how many you can name. About one-tenth of a mile before you reach the falls, you'll come to Cane Creek. After crossing over the creek on the footbridge, you'll encounter some stunning rock formations that offer good photo opportunities. Van Hook Falls is about 37 feet high, but the water flow is usually gentle, allowing you to walk right up behind it. You can also climb on the rocks below and even dip your feet in the water on a hot day. There's a deck and a bench where you can sit and enjoy the view or have a snack. The falls are a perfect destination point for a hike that is just the right distance. I hope that you have a chance to hike the Van Hook Falls Trail. Thanks for joining us. To discover more great places where you can walk around Kentucky, visit the Jessamine County Public Library YouTube page.